Hey guys, so I'm making this video because recently I had a problem with my Windows 8 on Acer Aspire V5 uh, which got into a permanent auto repair loop. I was just restarting it once and I was never able afterwards to get to Windows because it, I, got, I was getting a screen like that, repairing disk errors and after 15 to 30 minutes the screen was just turning black and this is where it was ending every time when I restarted the computer. And I'm making this video because I had a lot, I had a lot of problems with finding a complete solution to how to deal with this situation. And I searched the internet and I called the support line, both of Acer and Microsoft. And I, although they were very polite and very friendly, it was very hard to get like any answers from them. And sometimes actually their answers were contradicting each other. So. Uh, if you ended up in the city with a situation like over here, I will try to help you in this video. So the first thing that you will need is the recovery drive that of course I didn't have. I haven't made one. I was asked by Windows a few times, but it was a new computer, so I haven't done one. And I wasn't using really that computer at that much. Uh, so, well, if you are very lazy, a Acer was very open to sell me one for around 20 or $25 with shipment costs. Uh, however, they were avoiding answering to my question whether I can use a recovery drive, which I would do with another comp computer, a different computer with Windows 8. So they never answered to that question. They just avoided it. And I was just saying like, oh, you can get this for $25 in three or five business days. Uh, so to make the story short, you can actually use any computer with Windows 8 uh to make a recovery drive it's actually easy to do it uh, you need a usb uh, stick or a pen drive which has around 300 megabytes of free space and this usb will be formatted during the process so probably you should use one of those old small usb drives that you have from four or five or six years ago uh, to make the recovery drive uh, you need somebody who has a windows 8 and probably anyone, anyone who has bought a PC in last one year, 16 months, has a Windows 8 on it. And it cannot be, however, Windows 8 Pro, but that happens very rarely. So majority of people have Windows 8. And it doesn't matter from which country the computer comes. It doesn't matter what is the language version. I bought my Acer in the United States in September this year. And I got the Windows 8 recovery drive. I made it with a computer which was bought in Poland, where the Windows was in Polish. Uh, so, so actually the geographic difference, the language version doesn't count at all. The thing that might count is whether it is a 64 or 30-bit operating system. What is a good thing is that majority of the computers recently has usually the 64-bit operating system. In the past, when you had netbooks, often there was a Windows 32-bit operating system, but now there isn't really that many netbooks left on the market because the prices of notebooks got so low. However, if you want to check it, you can check it on the computer that you will be making the recovery drive with. Uh, it is written when you go to the control panel, system and security, and you click on the system, you will get, a, you will get something like that. And it will be written over here, system type 64-bit operating system. Okay, so it's actually really easy to get. You can even ask your neighbors or friends. Probably somebody will have it. And uh, yes, the country where it was bought doesn't matter. The language version doesn't matter. However, there is this one thing. The recovery menu that you will be using to recover your Windows will be in the language of the recovery drive. So choose the computer with the language you understand. Choose the Windows with the language you understand so you don't end up with some exotic language that you don't have no idea uh, what to do with. So when you have a recovery drive, you can start uh, working on getting your Windows back working. Uh, however, you will need a second thing. You will need a Windows product key, uh, which with the older computers, it's written on the sticker with a Windows logo or Windows written on it. And you have this 25 letter number characters product key uh, written on the back. It's usually quite a big sticker, quite a long one. And it's at the back of your notebook or under its battery. So you might have to remove the battery. 
However, with the newer computers, and by newer I mean at least the computer brought later than July 2013, but probably even earlier. This is just the oldest computer I get with the situation like that. There is no product key on the notebook written anywhere. And what is funny is that nobody heard about that at the Microsoft support line, and it has been on the market for like six months. So in the new computers, the product key is on the motherboard or in BIOS. Anyway, it's not accessible for us. So we are not able to write it down. Windows will access it when installing automatically. So uh, with the older computers, you will have to write it down when you will be uh, using the recovery drive. But with the new computer, the Windows won't ask you about it at all. It will just get it from the motherboard of your computer. Uh, and will and will install without any problems the windows uh, what yes so actually in the microsoft support uh, line they were so convinced that it has to be at the back of my notebook or under my battery that they were almost convincing me to open my notebook with a screwdriver because it's impossible to remove a battery like that in my in a, a v5 aspire acer so yeah when you have the recovery drive, uh, you have to restart your computer. And during the restart phase, just in the beginning, you need to start pressing F2 many, many times to get the BIOS menu, like the one over here. Uh, this is the menu that you will use to tell your computer to start the computer using the, to start Windows using the recovery drive, not the hard drive. So, what you will do when you are in your BIOS, you will probably end up some. You will end up in the similar menu like this one. Here you have the controls on of how to move around, and you have the choice between different options over here. So you will go for the boot menu, where you have written the sequence in which your computer is starting. It's pretty much the way which what kind of devices your computer uses to start. So what you will have to do you will have to move the USB drives from here to the beginning of this line. So instead of 4 and 5, you will have to do, move them to 1 and 2. And how to do it is written over here on your computer. So now I've done it here, and you can see that USB uh, is twice over here, while my hard drive, which was first, is on the first position, so it will start with the USB drive. When I've done it, I will go for Exit and I will exit saving the changes. So now the computer will start using the USB drive that you have plugged in. So now the computer is starting and I am getting the recovery menu. And here I have few options. Those menus, they differ from the computer to computer. I'm not sure uh, what exactly it depends on, but sometimes you might have one or two additional options in which one you open. So we're going to go for the troubleshoot over here. And here you have few options. You have an option to refresh your PC, which basically is uh, what, what is it, what it is supposed to do is that it will reinstall Windows 8 and it should leave all your files. In my case, it didn't work at all. I was not able to, to refresh my computer because it gave me an error. Uh, so in the end, I had to go for the reset your PC. Reset your PC option is a brutal option, but before we will go for that, we can check out the advanced options. In advanced options, you can restore your system to a point that you recorded in the past, if you have done it, or if you have done an image in the past, you can recover Windows using the system image. If you are not sure if you have done it, you can just click on both of them, and it will probably if it won't be able to do, locate the restore point or image of the system then it will tell you so uh, and there you won't be able to use this option so here you have automatic repair that you can uh, that is pretty much the same automatic repair that fails to repair your computer every time you restart and here you have a command prompt uh, which you can use in case that you cannot refresh your PC, then you can, and you will know that you will have to reset your PC. So you, you know that you will have to format your whole hard drive and reinstall Windows completely. So you will use all your files. 
this command prompt over here is the last option for you to save your files. Actually, you can use it to copy your file files to another USB drive. If you have another USB drive, with, for example, 10 or 16 gigabytes of free space, you can use it, the command prompt, to move those files to the safety. And I use that, although it's a little more complicated stuff, so I'll make a separate video about it. So just to tell you that, uh, so in the end, all of the options failed for me and I had to reset my PC. So I reformatted it totally and I used the command probe to move all my files to safety, which I didn't have that many. So it didn't take that much time. And I went for the reset in my PC and then my computer, finally the Windows 8 worked okay. So I hope this video helped you a little. If you are in, I would put the link to the video about how to use the command prompt and probably tomorrow. Unless if you are in the urgent need, then I will try to speed up a little. I hope it helped you a little. I hope it gives you answer to the, to the questions you had. It's not really that hard to get the recovery drive, so you should be fine, really. And it's not really that difficult to navigate in those options. So yes, thank you for your attention and good luck.